Hi everyone, welcome to Albion. Place Lighthouse here. Ha <laughs> ha, we're not going to the lighthouse, we're going to check out the rest. <laughs> it's a really big stretch of beach. Sand, under tree areas. It's actually surprisingly very nice. He just pointed out the sea is like glass. It really is. And it's quite clear. It really doesn't look like you're at the sea. No. It's like a mirror. Oh, it is attacking me though. <laughs> oh, so Albion Beach won. Quite a surprise. Massive beach. Wasn't expecting that. Because Albion is all cliffs. But not here. This beach is massive. It is. But around the corner, and there is more around the corner there, are the cliffs. And that's literally how Albion got its name. And I know we're looking at the cliffs and they, they're black and everything. But Britain is also called Albion in an old tongue or something like that. Mm -hmm. Another name for it. And it was named Albion because of the white cliffs of Dover. Yeah, the cliffs reminded people of the cliffs at Dover. So they called it Albion? Yeah, why not? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but they're not white, they're black. <laughs> Volcano, not chalk. <laughs> yeah. So yes, public toilets. I can hear Brian telling you it's a little bit of a confusing toilet setup. The guys' toilets is a little confusing. That's the sea there. I'm just going to swing you around. And it's here at the front. And you come in and... Uh, well, I suppose these are changing rooms, but the toilets are actually through there, inside there. But you do eventually find toilets. And I imagine on the weekend, those snack places, it is the weekend, where the snacks? Dudes, Albion, what's up? No snack places. I'm going to go check further down there, Rick. It's always <laughs> panic a little. Uh-huh. Where the snacks, man? It is pretty cool. They've got this walkway here with the trees all around it. And they've got kiosks inside there that you can go and sit. They actually have benches in them. This is the first time I've ever seen one of these. A lifeguard hut. And you probably need it here because, you know, People will think the sea is glass and try to walk across it. <laughs> First sign of food. Tropical ices, homemade ice cream. Oh, and it actually looks like it's open. Oh, and this is tropical brass. Paninis and pain and burgers and wraps and, and rice and everything. Oh, and he's Hello, on TripAdvisor. Hi. <laughs> very good uh, ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> it's good ice cream. Yeah, and coffee is very nice too. Well, we're going to have to try. We've been recommended that the ice best, cream is good. We have best. to come try. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> oh, awesome. Reportage on TV. Merci. Ciao, merci. Merci, bye bye. Ciao. There's the, the ice cream menu vanilla, chocolate, fresh, I suppose. Fresh. Almond, coffee, Almond, coffee, coffee Dan Blanche. Dan Blanche. Ah, strawberry, thank ah, you. strawberry. Fred. Coffee, sandwiches and beverages. Dave is our ice cream guy. Homemade ice cream. This is Dave, he's going to make us a cup of Dame Blanche. Dame Blanche. Dame Blanche, not, not, not Dame. Like white Ooh. lady. Okay, I get it. There we wow. go, look at that. You want some chocolate sauce? Yes, sure. please. <laughs> Done with the chocolate sauce. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, Dave. Dave. <laughs> That's what you need at the beach. The money I did up there. Okay. <laughs> so his ice cream come in like 40 rupees or 50 rupees. This one is 50 rupees. Mm -hmm. No, the size of it. Awesome. And you can get it in a cup or a cone. Oh, and it's good. Don't mess chocolate sauce all over you. Oh, yeah. We have an art exhibition to go to. Yeah, it's going to be fancy in a minute. <laughs> that looks incredible. Oh, that's crazy creamy. It is. It tastes like frozen cream mm. with chocolate sauce. Mm. Wow. That's like one of the best ice creams I've had. Yum. Got a new spoon. Awesome. It's one of those cone things. Oh. oh. It's really great ice cream. That's Thank really it's good. Super creamy. Mmm. Oh. We should have gotten the cone. <laughs> well, you got the cone now as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. What a find. Albion. Mmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Made Maiden Mauritius coffees. What an amazing place. Yeah. On good. the beach. On the beach. <laughs> and, yeah. Wow. Albion, you gotta come to Albion, guys. He's even on TripAdvisor. Yeah. It's not just about the, the lighthouse. No. 
Forget the lighthouse. Come uh, here and get ice cream. What for? So Dave over here, hard-working young man, he goes to university and studies during the week and then runs this on weekends and public holidays. So come down and support him. A sign for water. And yes, there's actually water. But have a look at this. It's a bright pit, a double bright pit. And wait for it. It actually has a grill. So you can actually make your fire and cook your stuff. You don't need to bring anything but charcoal and the meat you want to cook. Awesome. I think there's a bus stop that comes right here. So if you're a bus taker, easy to get here. And all these lovely kiosks. Oh man, this banyan tree has just taken over. No one's chopped it, so it's just kept going. Oh wow! I think that means camping. Yeah, I would say so. You can so camp you're actually allowed to come camp. Huh? Adventure. So lots of bus station and lots of parking. Tons of parking. Yeah. All in all, good beach. Thumbs up from Brian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here comes the Albion bus! <laughs> Bringing all the people to the beach. Welcome to the beach, guys. And now we're driving uh, to beach number two, accessible through a supermarket. This sounds intriguing. Yes. Giz, Giz Company. Company Limited. Oh, this is the Dodo supermarket, so it must be the entrance through here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, let's drive off the road here. Scary. Super cool car. <laughs> he can park on the big gap. Oh, absolutely. Anywhere he wants. <laughs> he can drive across the bridge onto the beach. So this is the garden. Uh, I think they open on like a Sunday or something like that. So you can bring your kids. Lots of activities, loads of fun. There's a snack shop across the road there. They do, oh, they've got some getapima and some other things. This is the entrance to the bridge. Uh, obviously, you can't take a motorbike or a skinny motorbike, maybe. But I think it's just for walking. It says fishing on the bridge off the bridge is prohibited. So don't come fishing here. Here we are walking on the bridge. It's made of steel, so so it feels okay. I'm not yeah. sure what what's below us. It looks a little bit um, swampy. Swampy. Uh, taro. Tons and tons of taro. But I also feel like this is where mosquitoes would live. Except that they said no fishing, so there must be fish. Yeah, maybe there's fish. And there's fish. No, them. those are ducks. They have ducks. Water with ducks. Wow, Albion. Yeah. Albion. What a surprise. It's actually quite a long bridge as well. <laughs> Starting to get bored of just walking and talking to you guys. <laughs> I think those are coots. Not ducks. Oh, something jumped. It's the fish. I reckon. Yeah, yeah, do your bit. He's got a lot to say. Fishy fishies. Oh, they keep turning. You can see them going silver. Dodgy bit. Dodgy bit. Thank you. <laughs> we met a fan. We met a fan. From taking Canada. Oh, taking photos. And now we are ending our trip across the bridge and on the beach. We are now onto the beach. Okay, wow. Here you've got a dangerous bathing sign. Because it's open sea. It's not on a reef. But it looks like there's a reef out there. <laughs> oh, it looks like the fishermen are back and doing some fish. But it's a great piece of beach. I'm just going to go do the fish while he's still there. <laughs> Have a look at this, everyone. This is a fresh marlin that they've just caught. Oh, wow. Oh, man, look at those marlin steaks. It's massive! And they're just cutting it up right here. Yes. Oh, did you catch it now? Yes. Just freshly caught by these guys. Well done, guys. Good catch. These guys are from Le Trio. Yes. I'll just get the back there. And if you look out there, that's their blue boat. With the sun setting almost behind it. Wow, I don't think it gets much better than that. Fresh fish on the beach. The guys just caught it. He wouldn't cut me any for sushi, even though he promised, but maybe next time. <laughs> right, so over there, that's 
where the whole club med is. And looks like some scuba diving. And then I think they've got a little piece of beach over here above the high tide line and like a place where they launch boats from. So this is the Club Med Zone. Uh, they have put up yellow tape. I don't know if it's them to stop people or if this is off limits for now. Just looking at it again, I know there's a lot of Club Med stuff here, but there's also a rescue. So maybe this is actually part of a uh, Coast Guard. Look at that bike, it's electric. Speedway, 2000 watt electric bike. Pretty cool. It looks pretty awesome. Russia's Oceanography Institute with a big radar. They do research. I can smell the, the grill. Mmm, someone's grilling. The Zolbian chimney, built in 1850. That's a bit weird. It's actually pretty cool. You walk right up to it. Up to the top bit, which is always cool. Down there, it, it looks a little bit jungly, so I'm probably not going to go through there. But look at the steel work on it. Ricky said 1850. But there's something at the top. We're going to have to get the drone out and go have a look at the top because of the red bricks. Like the British were here. <laughs> okay, we're looking squarely at the, the chimney. I'm just going to look up a bit. Oh, that's looking down. I'm just going to look up a bit. Okay, let's go up. There she is. I'll be on sugar chimney. Oh, look at the red brick. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It really is. I'm going to go up a bit more. Oh, you can see the mountains in the background. Oh, wow. That's cool. Well, oh, look at that. You can see the hole in the top. We're going to fly over the hole. Awesome. Hopefully. Chimney from above. That's the hole from the top. <laughs> How cool is that? So turning around, looking at little bits of Albion in the background there. Yeah. And as you can see, this part of Albion is really far from the lighthouse. Yes, but there's the sea. You can see the sea. Now I'm just going to look down. Oh, it feels like it's raining. Yeah. Uh, looking down at the chimney. That's us in, in the car. Can you see that? Waving. <laughs> Let me just wave as well. So I'm also waving. <laughs> so I'm going to try to fly towards us. Without crashing into the chimney. Without crashing into the chimney. Awesome. That is so cool. Alright, so here is a church. It's not an old church, but it's a really interesting architecture. And they've got a bell. Anyway, there's this beautiful house here, right? The train came through here, but we're not sure this is a station. That this would have been... Close to where the station should be, but, but it not just, exactly. It doesn't feel like a train station. I'm trying to see if there's like, maybe there were more windows here because it looks like the stone has been replaced. So maybe there were more windows and more doors that would have made it a, a train station. Oh, really old bench. Oh, wow. here's a door with a, a walkway. Feels more like a, a house. If you look at the top, it's got the thing where there would have been a veranda out here. So the veranda would have been here as well. And this old stone would have been a walkway which would have taken you somewhere. I, I just get the feeling that it's not a train station and it was just like one of the support buildings for around the area. So great old building. <laughs> oh man. Nice roads in Albion. We do have good roads. Yeah. And very spacious. It's really, things are very far apart. Nothing was clustered in. No, I don't think they're hampered by anything. This is a much rockier beach. I don't think Ricky will let me go down there because it's ankle twisting. But they do have some nice tables and chairs. It's, it's really, really beautiful in its own way. With that sun coming through. Catching the ray. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, it's back, back, back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Albion Lighthouse, and as you can see, it's got the cliffs, which are the cliffs of Dover, <laughs> which is why it's called Albion. 
Magnificent. You hit me with that? Mm-hmm. Not even close. The up a bit, cross a bit, point straight more, back a bit. Voila. <laughs> Get your screenshot. <laughs> this is Albion viewpoint. Not a beach, but definitely a great place for a view. That tree there, with the ocean just behind it, almost growing out of the sand, is actually a noni tree. <laughs> Raining over there. <laughs> oh man. Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really pretty. At Albion Viewpoint, there are toilets and parking. This is the viewpoint? Yeah, because you can view the, the Albion. There are some quite beautiful streets of Albion, especially with this uh, pre sunset light on them. It's pretty cool. Some nice houses as well. It's a nice roof garden they got up there. Yeah. I can imagine you can see the sea nicely and probably the lighter. Whoa, <laughs> not all the roads are great though. <laughs> there must be a reason. Oh, look at this, we sort of bumped into an art exhibition. So here we have one of the Mauritian photographer artists, Daniel, and this is this amazing piece. Wow, when he was just telling me that he took like multiple shots yeah. to get this exactly right. Sometimes difficult to get. The most beautiful uh, shot is only one exposure, so several parts taken at a different than more than like uh, sometimes one or two is different, but it can make a big difference. Yeah. Totally the, big difference. The line, yeah. Well, bravo! Congratulations! That's a beautiful picture. Okay, so these are Daniel's details, and check out his web page because he's got lots of different pictures. This one happens to have been taken in Albion, where we've just been, where we are. Wow, look at all these spectacular photos that have been put onto canvas. All available, all taken in Mauritius by Mauritian artists. Magnificent. <laughs> wow, that's from one of the caves by the lighthouse. Super cool. Well, we actually finally made it out to the lighthouse. As you can see, we're actually in the hole and we're, we're looking at the lighthouse. No, it's, it's a photo, of course it is. <laughs> we still at the art exhibition. <laughs> Great photo, though. You won't believe it, we actually stumbled into the Explorer. Yeah, Explorer.mu, yeah. Explorer.mu. Exhibition. Exhibition. And this is one of, one of Kurt's, and this is Kurt, the actual man himself from the, the thing. Uh, please uh, visit us, visit the website Explorer.mu, where you can see like uh, 1,300 pictures of the landscape of Mauritius on it. Oh wow, you know? look at that. That is like yeah. so magnificent. I could just picture that in a lounge or something. Absolutely beautiful. These are photos, but wow, they are fantastic works of art. Pick your favorite, check out the website, decorate your home. Oh, wow. Look at that texture on this photo. Magnificent. Hi, I'm Cerise. Cerise, I'm hoping I'm getting that right. But she's with Ricky, and you know why? She's going to change the taste of wine. So uh, now, Ricky, you're going to taste the white wine. Can you pour uh, some of it in the other glass? How much? But not, not, not much, yeah. It's good. I actually feel the energy. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky's very sensitive to this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you taste it now? Very different wine. No, really. This, it, this at first it was this one. Uh huh. Um, quite a lot more sour. Right. This is a little bit more um, almost apathy. So, bit so she customized the wine for Ricky. Exactly. Is that what you said? Exactly. Can we take you everywhere? Can we? Yes. Because <laughs> there's a lot of food we need to eat that needs to be fixed. That is so amazing. Wow. 
and now she's customized one for Brian. Are you sure you didn't put something in there? <laughs> no, you watched her. <laughs> Only love. <laughs> now she's going to do it with beer. <laughs> you can actually you can change it to anything. She'll this phoenix. Blonde stay blonde. Blonde stay blonde, yes. <laughs> Good. Oh, she's so confident. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try some more. <laughs> it's now a smoother. It's more like um, a flying dodo. Oh wow. That 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 blonde. They're blonde. Yeah. Blondes don't change. She turned into a blonde <laughs> from flying dodo. Amazing, oh, wow. amazing ability. That is unbelievable. But apart from doing these things, she's also doing healing in healing, Mauritius. Healing, yeah. and energetic healing. And if she can make the beer do this, imagine what she can do to you. I can't imagine. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to sit here and try experiment you, a little bit more. She could turn your husband into the one that you wanted. Transformé, uh, Brian. <laughs> we'll put a link, we'll put a link. <laughs> so Riz is saying that Ricky is like champagne, she's just sparkling, she's just shining. So, yeah. That is so cool. I always thought of her as the top of the wines. <laughs> wow, magnificent, magnificent photo. Okay. As I said before, so these massive canvases that are absolutely exquisite, you can buy them from the artists for anywhere between 6,000 and 10,000 rupees. That's pretty cool. That'll change your whole house with one piece. This is Salim and he took my favorite thing. It's a pierogi. Ricky's here. So this fabulous picture with the pierogi and here's the artist so you can contact him and order it. This is actually a really good photo balance and all that sort of stuff Ricky just told me. But have a look at this. He's got a surfboard right? And look at the size of those waves. <laughs> He's gonna walk a long way to go surfing. But he looks cool. He sure does. We actually have to go. Ricky's doing the <laughs> But this is his. So on betterphoto.com, he actually won a prize for landscape. Your art is absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Or a restaurant with a rooftop. Oh wow. This is the rooftop at our restaurant. Oh, the man of the hour. Oh wow. Thank you. How perfect is Those this? bigger than regular. <laughs> I love aperitivo, this is my national day. Yes. That's why I was doing the Italian look. <laughs> Good one, Rick. Oh wow, look at this. Oh man, all those. This is Ricky's favorite thing in the whole world. She is going to be so happy with this. Salami. Looks like. I think copper. What are these called? I love Chirizzo. them. Chirizzo. And those things, I think they're little pickles, the yellow and red things. Because mm. you found yourself a piece of Parma ham. Mm. If you don't end up speaking Italian after this. <laughs> <laughs> Mortadello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Exquisito. So these are our aperitivos and I'm just dying to try that. I'm just going to pop it in. I think the whole platter is aperitivo, this way of eating. Oh, okay. You get a platter of all sorts of products and you share it. All right, no, that's cool. I like I that. I know, it's our thing. And they had grapes as well. Got to do the grapes. Mm. But the grape, you have to have the ham with the grape, as far For as I remember. For sure. Yeah, it's so wonderful. This stuff is so great. Huh? Yeah, I mean, any excuse, any mm. excuse, but... Sit down and eat this. It's required. It doesn't have to be these exact things, but it must look no, like no, this no. and you must share. You have to share, mm. yes. Platter and you share it. But this is a particularly good one. Awesome. And this mm. environment, we're on a rooftop just near a beach. Near the beach, the sky, you can... Oh, it's actually a tree. I thought it was the Milky Way. We could see the Milky Way, but <laughs> it's a tree that's lit up. Look at that. You can actually see her finger through it, guys. Mm. 
That is how thin that is. <laughs> That's what your board should look like after you finished, uh huh. And this one was amazing. Absolutely. Bueno. Bueno. Multi bueno. Multi bueno. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. I think that Bellissimo. might be Spanish. Bellissimo. Is that Spanish? I don't know. Anyway, we're speaking the, the language of Aperitivo. 2000 years and we're still enjoying them. Absolutely. <laughs> Cheers guys! <laughs> you don't often get that. It's like you hardly ever see a nice platter like no, that. No, you don't. That's why when yeah. I saw it, I'm like, no, we have to go. It was totally worth it. Yeah, because you don't get to eat my favorite things. And it's you gotta go home and do it yourself, which yeah. doesn't have this ambience. No, it doesn't. You, out, you don't have to I don't have to twirl the meat around no. and get them. <laughs> you guys don't want to see what I do with that stuff. Wish or, we lived closer to Albion. I'd be here be, every night. I reckon if we lived in Albion, this would be our spot. Absolutely our spot. And they've got live music on Friday and stuff yeah super cool love it on the mm, what is that bro the real west coast the west coast i'll be on there you are you've got multiple sections and that's the beach beautiful beautiful sunsets at albion oh wow albion it has so much more to offer than i thought well anyway everyone thanks for watching see you again next time